Hey guys, it's Dana and welcome back to my channel. Today's video, we are going to do a makeup review. So, it's been a while since gumawa ako ng mga ganitong makeup reviews. And ang tagal na rin ng huli akong bumili ng mga makeup. So, I'm really very excited about this. I'm sure nabasa nyo na sa title and you guys already know kung ano yung review yung isa-swatch natin for today. And that's probably the reason kung bakit kinlik nyo yung video because you wanna see the swatches and you wanna know kung maganda ba or okay ba yung makeup na to. So for today's video, we are going to be swatching and reviewing the Tail Cosmetics Powder Pout Velvet Glide Lipstick Collection. And yes, I only have 5 shades. Uh, I didn't get all 12 shades kahit na gustong-gusto ko talaga kasi ang ganda ng acrylic na container ng lipstick. But then the Koripot and Matipid me said no. Kasi uh, first of all, I'm not a lippy person. Siguro kung merong makeup product actually products that I can't live without. It's gonna be the mga, mga pang eyebrows at saka eyelash mascara. Yung talagang like yung ginagamit. Lipstick hindi masyado. And to tell you honestly, kahit ang tagal ko nang or mahilig talaga ako sa makeup, never pa ako nakaubos ng lipstick. Mapa bullet lipstick man or mapa liquid lipstick, never pa talaga ako nakaubos. It's either bumili ako tapos hindi ko nagustuhan or ang tagal na sa akin yung lipstick and then meron akong bagong binili tapos yun ang bago yung like kung ginagamit and then nakalimutan ko na yung, yung luma kong lipstick. It's, but don't worry, as much as possible, yung mga shades na pinili ko, I, I really tried my best na gawin silang diverse, like iba't ibang shades, iba't ibang undertone, just so you can see kung ano yung itsura nila or magka-idea kayo kung ano yung itsura nila sa lips. But to tell you honestly, medyo naging bias ako sa pagpili ng shades. I'm sure aware naman kayo sa collection na to because it's all over YouTube, it's all over Instagram. But these powder pout lippies are named sa mga uh, beauty vloggers here in the Philippines. So, medyo naging bias ako sa pagpili ng mga shades actually. And yung mga napili ko is yung mga madalas kong napapanood talaga na beauty vloggers. Although, yung mga ibang part naman ng collaboration na to, pinapanood ko pa rin naman sila. Pero, itong lima na to, sila lang talaga yung madalas kong napapanood. So, I'm gonna mention ito you guys na kung ano yung mga shades na meron ako. Just in case meron kayong specific na shade na gustong makita and hindi, hindi siya kasama dito. So, you'll know na para hindi na rin ma-waste yung time nyo. So, you can check other videos na other beauty vloggers that has the shade that you really wanna see. So, here I have May Layugs, Ray Hermars, Tony Sias, Angel Days, and Riza Contawis. So, without further ado, if you guys are interested to see the swatches and to know my thoughts on these Detail Cosmetics Powder Pout Velvet Glide Lipsticks, then please keep on watching. So, if you guys are already watching my other videos, my other makeup videos, you know na dry talaga yung lips ko. So, kung dry ang lips mo, then uh, parehas, I think parehas tayo na magiging thoughts on this one or parehas yung magiging performance ng mga lipstick na to sa lips natin. Before I start with my review, gusto ko lang magkwento sa inyo about Detail Cosmetics kasi since Detail Cosmetics is rebranding, so nakakatuwa lang naisipin na uh, before kasi I think I'm one of the first customers of Detail Cosmetics kasi nung before pa, way back, wala pa sila sa department stores, wala pa sila sa Watsons, ganyan. Um, hindi ko maalala kung sa Facebook or sa IG ko sila nakita. But I, hindi college kasi ako, nung college ko sila discover I was second year ata or third year college. Yun yung time na talagang nauuso na yung mga liquid lipsticks. So, I check, uh, chinat ko yung IG account nila ata or Facebook account nila asking them kung meron silang physical stores. Kasi nung college ako, hindi ako basta-basta bumibala ng makeup na hindi ko talaga nasa swatch, hindi ko talaga nakikita in person. Kasi syempre college pa ako, wala pa akong budget sa makeup. So, yung baon ko lang na naiipod ko before, yun lang yung pinabibili ko ng makeup. So, I really make sure na maganda yung product and bagay sa akin before sila binibili. I remember yung, yung one of, I'm not sure kasi kung yun yung first pop-up store nila, but I'm sure it's one of the first. So, one of the first pop-up store na pinupuntahan ko ni Detail Cosmetics is in uh, Victory Mall in Caloacan City. Yung kaharap ni Ever Gotesco Mall na nasulog na, na ngayon SM na, na next year baka pwede na tayo pumasok dahil napakabilis ng construction. Ano? Nalala ko dun ako unang, yun yung unang-unang liquid lipsticks ko kasi uh, before nila nilaunch yung uh, contour palette nila. Alam ko yung mga unang products nila is yung mga liquid lipsticks na talaga namang napaka long last. Talagang pag in-apply mo, yung bukas na matatanggal. Sobrang kapit na kapit talaga sa lips. Tapos, I remember nung college ako, kapag kumakain kami dun sa Victory Mall, I remember aakit ako dun sa second floor. Yung new pop-up store nila sa Victory Mall, it's on the second floor, it's sa harap ng Mang Inasal. So, pumunta ako dun, tapos magsaswatch lang ako ng, ng lipstick kahit hindi pa ako bibili. And then, after naman ng liquid lipsticks nila, bumili din ako no 
yung contour palette nila. Actually, detail cosmetics, yun yung unang-una kong contour palette. Doon ako natutong mag-contour. Sobrang ganda nun. I actually recommend that to my friends in college. And pinabili nila. Nagpabili sila sa akin. Kasi since they're from Manila, and mas malapit ako dahil taga North ako, malapit ako sa V-Mall. Kaya ako yung bumili for them. Talagang maganda yung products nila, kahit even before. Kaya nung nakita ko sila, na meron na silang stores or meron na silang mga stall sa department store and sa Watson. So, naging happy ako, naging proud ako. I mean, kahit naman ako part or member or whatever ng detail cosmetics, nakakatuwa lang talaga. Kasi, alam mo yun, yung feeling na isa ka dun sa mga nakadiscover before nung hindi pa siya uh, ganun kasikat. Tapos ngayon na, it's well known. Marami na akong natry na ibang products sa detail cosmetics. And I'm actually talagang expecting a good review sa mga products na to. Kasi maganda talaga gumawa si Detail Cosmetics even before. So, to start off this review, I'm just, I just wanna mention na napakaganda ng packaging. So, ayan, Detail Cosmetics. And then, it just says, Powder Pout Velvet Glide Lipstick. And then, nandito yung grams niya. Uh, it has 4 grams. You flip it at the back. Ayan. Nandiyan yung mga artwork ng mga beauty vloggers according to Shade, which are yung mga names nga nila. So, napakaganda ng artwork. And alam nyo yun, very iconic. Kahit walang names or shades, you'll know kung anong shade. You'll know kung sino sila. Like this one's May, Ray, Tony, Angel Day, and Ryza. Have their signatures right there. And then here, parang, ay baliktad pala. Here, parang mga logo nila. It claims na it is enriched with vitamin E. It's non-drying. It's... It's non-drying, no animal ingredient, and cruelty-free. So, I also wanna mention na medyo maliit siya. Actually, in-expect ko na medyo malaki-laki siya. Maliit siya than the usual size ng mga lipsticks as you can see. Pero, for me, $199 naman is a reasonable price. So, let's see mamaya kung sulit ba talaga yung $199 pero sa sa quality niya. So, as you can see, I have my full-on makeup and medyo naparami ako sa highlighter kaya kumikinta mga aking mukha pero hayaan na natin yan. So, wala pa akong lip products. Um, I'm gonna be swatching these on the back of my hand and then on my lips. So, open natin siya. So, you guys can see po ano yung isura ng actual lippies. This is what it looks like from the box. So, ayan sa front, andyan lang yung parang signature or name nila. And then, sa back, meron lang siyang logo ng Detail Cosmetics. Here sa ilalim, andyan lang yung powder pout, lipstick, and then yung shade, and then yung grams. Okay, and then when you open it, so, yan. Ganyan siya kadaming, ganyan siya kahaba. Like what I've mentioned kanina, guys, mas maliit siya than the usual mga lipstick. And for me, actually, nakukutan ako. Nagandahan ako sa kung gaano siya kaliit. Gusto ko yung kung gaano siya kaliit. Kasi alam niyo naman ako, di ba mahilig ako sa maliliit na mga bagay. Let's start with May Layugs. Open natin. Sana magpamagdilim, ano? Alright, so I just turned on my ring light kasi medyo dumidilim na. Parang uulan yata. So, I have to make this quick. So, I'm gonna be starting with Miss May Layugs shade. And swatch natin siya sa likod ng kamay ko. It's a very pretty shade. This one reminds me of Squad Cosmetics Gleeful. Gantong-ganto yung shade niya on my lips. Pati yung scent niya, guys, actually. Yung scent niya, it reminds me of yung liquid lipstick or parang multi-purpose mousse cream ni Squad Cosmetics. Parang ganun, halos ganun yung shade niya. Ay, I mean, halos ganun yung amoy niya. Mas matapang lang yun. This one, mild lang yung scent niya. Pero parang ganun na ganun. Alam yung parang may butter na may sugar. So, ayan. This one's may layog and ang ganda ng shade. Gusto ko siya. It has a warm undertone. Parang bumagi siya sa makeup look for today. Alright, so remove natin siya ng aking makeup remover. Mabilis lang naman siya maalis. And there, as you can see, parang medyo nag-iwan siya ng tint sa lips ko. Kasi kanina hindi naman ganyan ka-vibrant yung lips ko. Next naman, let's do um, Ray, Ray Hermars. Ngayon ko pala pinagtatanggal sa packaging. Miss Ray's has her signature right there. So, this one has a deeper shade as you can see. So, swatch natin siya at the back of my hand as well. Yung unang glide, syempre dahil siguro bago yung makeup, hindi pa masyadong nagsushow yung pigment niya. Pero definitely after yung first glide niya, ayan. Kita niya naman na 
opaque yung shades, opaque yung color payoff na binibigay ng lipstick. Okay, I'm gonna put it on my lips. Sana they make the scent different din. Parang mas, alam niyo yun, mas, wala lang, mas sila. Kapag pati yung shade, um, ginawang according dun sa mga vloggers na yun. So anyway, wala lang. Ang dami ko sinasabi. Di ba, umuulan na. Hindi naman yung ulan. Bakit ba pag nag-vlog ako, lagi kong umuulan? Sinasabayan niyo ba ako? As you can see, halos same lang naman yung undertone nitong kay Ray and kay May. This one is just deeper. Of course, this one's not transfer proof kasi hindi naman nila kiniklaim eh. But for your reference. So next one, we have Miss Tony Sia's shade. Hi baby, come here. Up, up. Come on, up. Good girl. Okay, so that pala hindi ko inaalis yung mga shade nila, no? Para nakikita nyo in comparison. Ito yung kay May. And this one is Ray's shade. Ito na yung kay Miss Tony. Yan, very, very tony siya yung shade kasi peachy. So, let's apply it on my lips. Parang yung King Miss Tony, yun yung parang pinaka-lightest. Ata. Well, at least dito sa mga meron ako. Bubog sarado na yung labi ko. Ganto pa ito mag-lip swatch, lipstick swatch, no? First time kong mag-lip swatch ng limang lipstick. So, next is Miss Angel Days. Angel Day na Angel Day yung packaging niya, di ba? Naka two-piece at nasa beach. Swatch natin ulit sa kamay ko. Ayan, ito parang na medyo may pagka konting red, reddish yung undertone niya. This one may pagka bright siya ng onte, no? So last and definitely not the least is Miss Riza Contawis. Parang this one may pagka plum siya ng onte. Yeah, may pagka plum siya. Alright, so that's it for the swatches of the Detail Powder Pout Velvet ano to? Velvet Glide Lipsticks. And I must say, I really love all the colors. Everything is wearable. Kung wala lang COVID ngayon, kung normal lang ang mga buhay natin ngayon, kung ganun lang, nasa normal na setting tayo ng buhay natin, nasa normal na program tayo ng buhay natin, walang work from home, walang online classes, walang mask, walang face shield, I will use this every day. As in, pwede kong pag-iba-ibahin yung shade ng lips ko. Pwede kong gamitin sila alternate, alternating. Pwede ko silang ito Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Ganon. Lahat sila wearable. Walang sobrang bold. Walang sobrang light. Iba-iba lang siya ng... Mayroon siya iba't-ibang flavor, iba't-ibang tint, iba't-ibang shade, and iba't-ibang undertone. Pero yung level nila is parang magkakaparehas lang. So, parang depende na lang sa mood mo kung gusto mo ng medyo deep, gusto mo ng warm, gusto mo ng peachy, gusto mo ng medyo reddish, gusto mo ng medyo plum, ganyan. So, magdedepende na lang talaga kung anong gusto mo, sa mood mo, ganyan. Actually, hindi naman ako nagulat sa Detail Cosmetics kasi sabi ko nga sa inyo, isa ako sa mga unang talagang bumibili sa Detail Cosmetics kahit uh, wala pa sila sa department store and sa Watson's. Talagang uh, kilala ko na yung brand. So, I know naman na talagang magaganda yung quality ng cosmetics or magaganda yung quality ng mga makeup nila. Every every shade is really, really wearable. Walang sobrang bold, walang sobrang light. Alam mo walang 
nakaka-intimidate gamitin. Alam mo yun, yung parang lahat gusto mong suotin. Kung pwede lang sabay-sabay suotin, di ba? Why not? Pero, ang ganda lang talaga ng lahat ng shades. Anyway, let's go to uh, my overall thoughts on this. Packaging, so nice. Ang ganda. Aside sa, it's very aesthetic. Ang isa sa mga nagustuhan ko is yung size. Kasi napaka-compact niya. Okay lang naman kasi sa akin na maliit. Since sabi ko nga sa inyo, hindi naman ako talaga malipstick na tao. So, okay lang sa akin yung mga kung maliit lang yung lipstick or travel mga size, travel size na lipsticks, okay lang yun sa akin kasi nga, hindi ako ganun kabilis gumamit ng lipstick. So, kahit na yung mga ganitong kaliliit na lipsticks, magtatagal sa akin yung mga ganyan. So, I'm totally fine with it being small. Gusto ko nga siya eh, actually, kasi nga mahilig ako sa maliliit na bagay, di ba? Maliit lang yung bag ko, so mabilis nang isuksok, mabilis nang isingit-singit. It's not too bulky, although yung, yung packaging niya kasi, it's square, so by by that, medyo bulky siya. But then, it's small, so hindi siya ganun ka-bulky. So, ayun, I hope nag, I hope I make sense on that. Wala akong masabi sa packaging kasi ang ganda na talaga. As you can see naman, very simple lang, so not there's not much to, to say about it. And what's also good about it is kapag inalis mo yung packaging nila, sila pa din. O kumbaga parang may incorporate mo pa rin yung mga beauty vloggers on this lipsticks kasi nandiyan naman yung mga names and mga signature nila. So that's the packaging. Hindi naman halatang gustong gusto ko yung packaging. Ano. Okay, so other than that, let's go to the shade uh, na. So for the shade guys, I really love the shade. Sana na-mention ko na nga sa inyo kanina. Everything is wearable. At least for all these five shades na nasa akin, everything is really wearable. Walang nakaka-intimidate suotin. Walang too bold, walang too light. Alam niyo yun. Alam niyo yung mga ganitong types of shades na I know bagay sa lahat ng skin type. Kung maputi ka, if you're fair, you're light, you're morena, ganyan, or you're in the middle, I'm sure bagay sa inyo yung mga ganitong shades. Pwedeng, pwede nyo siyang suotin on a daily basis. Kahit na simple lang yung makeup nyo, mapasimple or mapapang formal and pang, alam niyo yun, pang full-on glam makeup yung suotin nyo, babagay sila, babagay yung mga shades. Ayan, for these at least five of these shades, it's really wearable and I can I can wear this every day. So yan. And then finally, for the formula, ang pinaka importante, kasi syempre, ano ba ang magandang packaging, ano ba ang magandang shade kung hindi mo maganda yung formula. So all I can say about the formula of the Powder Pout Velvet Glide lipstick is it's really really creamy as in Sobrang ano niya, nakita niya naman kanina nung ginag-glide ko siya sa lips. It glides smoothly, it glides evenly, very opaque yung shades as you can see naman sa nung ini-swatch ko siya at the back of my hand at saka sa lips ko. Ano, it glides on really smoothly, ang bilis nang i-apply, walang togging effect, hindi siya matigas i-apply, napaka-creamy, napaka-smooth nung application niya. Hindi siya dry. Yung scent niya, meron siyang onting scent as what I've mentioned a while ago, parang yung sa Squad Cosmetics na multi-purpose mousse cream, halos same yung amoy nila, but hindi siya ganun kalakas. When you open it, and kapag bago pa lang siya, in-apply nyo siya on your lips, makaamoy nyo siya, pero hindi siya ganun ka-strong. Pag nasa lips na wala na kayo maaamoy, pero when you smell it right here, straight dito sa bullet, maaamoy nyo siya. Na yun nga, same siya na lang scent ni Squad Cosmetics na multi-purpose mousse cream. Alam nyo naman, sa mga nanonood talaga ng mga makeup videos ko, or for those of you na bago pa lang, dry talaga yung lips ko, as in super dry talaga yung labi ko. I'm gonna apply it again, lalapit ako sa cam, so you guys can see. Diba? Sobrang creamy. Look how gorgeous the shade is. Sobrang ganda nitong kay May. True to its claims talaga na it's non-drying. It's really comfortable on the lips. And sobrang creamy and buttery niya sa lips. But, guys, yung mga ganito kasi mga creamy, non-drying, and very buttery lipstick, don't expect this to be long-lasting. Kasi yung mga ganito, this one tends to transfer easily than yung mga matte na mga long-wearing lipsticks. But, ako kasi, ganito yung mga bet kong lipstick. Ito yung mga gusto kong lipstick. Kasi, I'd rather just bring the lipstick and reapply than wearing an uncomfortable lipstick throughout the day. Na alam kong tuyot-tuyot na yung labi ko. So, that's my overall thoughts on this new collection of detail cosmetics. Sobrang nagustuhan ko talaga to. I mean, no bias. Binili ko to. Hindi to binigay sa akin. I wish, no. This one retails for 199 pesos. And you get 4 grams. I got mine on Lazada. And napakabilis ng shipping, guys. Parang 2 days pa. Dito mating na siya. To think na dito ko siya iladress sa Pampanga. And 2 days lang andito na siya. What more sa Manila? I'm sure mas mabilis yun. Ayan, may mga iba nga akong nabasa sa reviews eh. Parang same day na kuha rin agad nila yung orders nila. Kung tatanungin nyo ako kung sulit ang 199, my Coripot and my Matipid Self will tell you guys na napakasulit ng 199 para sa 
isang lipstick nitong powder pow. I really, really recommend this one for those of you guys. Ang ganda ng shades, ang ganda ng formula. Especially if you have dry lips like me, magugusto niyo talaga siya. So, it's really, really nice and very, very solid for me. So, so that's it for my overall thoughts on the Retail Cosmetics Powder Pout Velvet Glide Lipstick. I hope natulungan ko kayo sa pag-decide kung anong shade or kung bibili ba kayo. Because I know what you're feeling. Kasi nung ako din, nagsistart ako sa makeup. Talagang hindi ako basta-basta bumibili ng makeup ng hindi ako nanonood ng reviews. Kaya, I hope natulungan ko kayo kung sa pag-decide kung bibili nyo to or kung anong shade yung gusto nyo. Also guys, before I end this video pala, for those of you who joined the giveaway, I will be announcing the winners on Friday night on my IG story. So, stay tuned. That's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys like this video, please don't forget to like, share this video, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And also, don't forget to click the notification bell so you guys can get updated whenever I upload new videos. So again, thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you on my next one. Bye!